Welcome back from that. Not so little of a break this time. We had some gap between the action. We had a very action-packed first half today. We now have the Rocket League team up to the bill. The Saints don't want to jinx anything out there, but have not dropped a game or a match yet, rather, this entire day. So Rocket League looking to continue on. They're going to be playing against the University of Montreal to decide the best collegiate Rocket League team in Canada. Daniel Jobin and Fundy still here, still kicking, and still here to bring you the action. Yeah, and I mean, this is going to be a big one. Even going back, I mean, me and you, Jobin, going back all the way to group stage day for Rocket League. We had talked to them, and they were looking at, they were right, taking a look at all of the groups, all of these teams here. And they specifically pointed out to us, they said, all right, we're kind of concerned about University yep. of Montreal. And lo and behold, a week later, here we are in grand finals, and it's University of Montreal who are going to be squaring off with the Saints today. And we've got a bracket to check out as well so we can see both of these teams' path to grand finals. You can see the Saints, lots of three twos yeah. in that bracket. You, Montreal, 3-1, three, 3-0, one, three, oh, and all the way there. So... It'd be something to think about, Yeah, Robin. definitely. And we talked, yeah, talking to Spoods last week before they even played their first match. They said uh, the University of, uh, was it Ottawa or Toronto that played them very, very close. Mm -hmm. And then Montreal would be one of these teams to look out for. Yeah. We are now here in the finals. I believe we're going to see Spoods, Quint, and Christian. That's the three I've seen around the Nexus today. So I'm assuming that's going to be the three we're rocking with, but mm -hmm. could be subject to change. Maybe Kamal will end up in there at some point, but that's the three I think we're going with for now. So the Rocket League team trying to cap off the third championship of the day for St. Clair. They are going to have their hands full, though. Every Every single team today has had more than their fair share of their like the hands being full. They've had a lot of really close matches back and forth. Rocket League, though, now trying to put a capstone on this one. Yeah, and just a quick recap from earlier today, if you happen to miss it, since we've got a second here, we can kind of just cap it off a little bit. Cod came in at the starting back and forth series with the Brock Bandits there, but they were able to take that grand finals. Saints Cod cementing themselves as number one in Canada. Overwatch came in right after that, and that was going to be a 3-0, although a very hype yeah. series to say the least, Joe, but I know we were jumping up and down <laughs> for a bit there, just going absolutely crazy, but then, of course, we saw a Valorant playoff game. They made it to semifinals, but they're still working, too. Yeah, yeah, they, they are still working. They are right on the other side of that wall right now, just going at it, but that is going to be it until we have game one here for Rocket League. We're going to send it to a quick little break, and we will meet you back on the pitch. It's game one.
Here we are, game one of the Grand Finals. And I guess one thing we forgot to mention in that pre-show, Grand Finals, best of sevens yes. here in Rocket League. Moving on from that best of five format, Spoods trying to take it close to that net right off the bat. He's going to ride on the goal line, knocked out by you Montreal here. Bouncer in front of the net. Spoods to grab the ball off the wall there. Could bring it down right in front. Possibly for Quint there, but not going to follow up on that ball. Yeah, it is going to be Spoods, Quint, and Christian. The starting three that we have seen that last in a while. Oh, what a pinch coming through. Christian going to find the first goal of these grand finals. Credit Spoods with the assist. Nice little play off that wall. That second touch is beautiful, and he's there to help out for that pinch as well. Exactly what the doctor ordered for game one. Yeah, right off the bat, Saints kicking it off to a one-goal lead here. 33 seconds burnt on the clock before that one and already Saints showing us why they were you know confident coming into this one we had uh we had heard uh some words from Quint before the game they're feeling good about this one but you Montreal no slouch themselves Sim the goon Jerry I'm missing that last name there but we'll see in just Banan. a sec here Banan yeah perfect <laughs> It is banana. Yeah. Farm tag as well. <laughs> Farm fresh bananas for everyone. All natural. Jerry going to take this one off that middle line, trying to get this one toward that Saints net. Now you Montreal going to have to try to collapse, find this pressure back the other way. That is a great back shot by Christian, at least to get that ball into that blue zone. Try to buy themselves a couple seconds to get that breakout started. That ball going to fly back toward that Saints net. Credit Jerry with that shot on net. Save made by Christian. Now Spoods trying to wiggle this ball out of this corner. Getting this one nice and deep. Trying to find something over the middle. Going to try to end the reset there. Not going to quite have the touch he was looking for, though. Going to go a little bit to the wayside. And New Montreal trying to clear out now. Yeah, Sim the Goon taking it right down the middle. Christian to knock it off of his nose. Spoods meeting it right in the air. Leaving the ball to about a dead stall there. He's going to fly past that net. Back to Spoods in the corner. But this is a lot of time in the Saints Ooh. zone that they don't want to have as evident by Sim the Goon finding a nice shot there right on the goal line. Jerry can't tap it in before it finds its way to the corner. Set up right again past the middle. Christian in the oh perfect goodness. position. Another crossbar off of Banan that time. Jerry tries to keep this going. It's still in the Saints zone here and you Montreal still has control on that ball. Two players in front of the net and Sim the Goon Finally gonna tap that one in after what felt like five shots and even a demo there at the end. Yeah, I got 25 bucks to anyone that can actually keep up with that shot total. The Saints <laughs> got peppered for what felt like a minute straight. Finally, Montreal able to break through there and find that first goal. You knew it was only a matter of time with that level of pressure. We see it against so many teams. It's so hard to withstand that many attempts on net, especially good ones as well. They were sending that bar back and forth off the crossbar there. Just couldn't find the back of the net. Spoods going to be the one to play this one over that midline. Trying to set up Quint there. Quint, maybe not going to get the touch, although he could say it was a calculated fake there. Montreal, mm -hmm. though, going to gather possession. Going to try to get that passing play going over the middle. Not going to be able to link up on that one. They are still putting a boatload of pressure on the Saints, though. Yeah, keeping it there for sure. Spoods tries to knock one over the defender. It gets over Sim, but not past Jerry. He was going to try to dribble it out to the front of the net here. Banan finding one, falling from the top. You see Sim trying to get ready for that shot follow-up. Not going to be good. It's going to lay on to Jerry. He has to take it to the corner. Might be able to find something off of himself. The angle, not good enough. They find that one straight to the crossbar there. 1.45 oh. on the clock, straight from the skies. Sim the Goon finds the first one, or the second one for themselves there in the game. 2-1 now for University of Montreal, looking very, very strong on the offense here in game one. Yeah, St. Clair cannot seem to get out of their own way on that defensive side right now. They are just trapped in that orange zone. Once again, Montreal making a great play on the ball. They're gonna have a crack at the net here as well. Only one to beat. Quint is not gonna be able to make that save. That's gonna be back-to-back -back goals for Montreal. That's gonna make this lead into two now. They're gonna be feeling damn good in St. Clair. It is a best of seven, so you have time to play around with, but you do not want to come out here starting off 0-1. Yeah, 100%. I mean, we talk about game one often being that adjustment game, that feeling out game, but University of Montreal, they're done with feeling out the Saints. They've been done since Saints found that first goal. They're just going to keep the pressure on and keep these shots rolling. And so far, it's working out for them flawlessly. 
Yeah, the Saints just have to find some way to get the possession of this ball, get it back into that blue zone and make it play Quint. Gonna drive that one back toward that orange side, trying to get a pass going. Spoods there for the 50 in midair. Jerry gonna knock that one away. Saints might have a shot at the net here. That net looks wide open, but they cannot make it to the ball in time. Christian gonna get the demo for his trouble. They're gonna send another demo towards Sim the Goon there, but this ball still in the Saints end. One man getting all the work done. Banan, they're trying to play this one off that midline. The Saints, they have to get this ball out and they have to try to find this goal sooner than later. They are slowly running out of time. We only have 55 seconds left in game one. Yeah, Jerry tries to find a quick one onto that net there. Off the oh, back, beautiful. the double touch oh. from Spoods. Textbook play there, but you're still one goal down. 48 seconds to play, but what a nice wow. solo play there. Coming back, one goal down, 48 seconds to play with. We've seen the Saints in this situation before. We've definitely seen them take it to overtime, but University of Montreal, if they can get that pressure started once again, Saints might just be out of time. Yeah, yeah, they gotta make something happen. They did buy themselves just enough time to try to make some kind of set pass and play Quint. Taking that one right to the net, gonna be denied for the time being. The Saints trying to find those second, third touches. That ball gonna careen back toward their side of the field there. Christian, the one to play it. Try to get that passing play going. Second touch going to be found. Net not going to be found, though. That's going to be Quint on that shot. No goal to come off of it, though. Spoods, 20 seconds to play. Trying to win out this 50. Christian going to be the first one there. That ball right back toward that Saints. And the Montreal doing such a good job of gathering possession. Clearing this ball back the other way. And now there's only eight seconds left for Spoods to try to make a play. Great save on that crossbar by Manon. The Saints still have the pressure in this zone, though. They're going to have to make something happen. One second on the clock. Overtime on the horizon. Second touch. Not going to find it. And that's going to be UDEM taking game one. Yes. Wow. What a game to start us off there. Not only do we see a quick goal from the Saints, but you, Montreal, coming back with three straight in about three minutes. And then the Saints unable to rally back at the end, even with a great goal yep. from Spoods. But 3-2 is your final score for game one. Yeah, the Saints... Couldn't really get out of their their defensive side of the field for about half of that game. It felt mm. like it was shot after shot after shot for Montreal. That is no way to sustain a game of Rocket League. Eventually, a couple are going to slip through Spoods. Supreme individual effort to find that second touch off the ceiling. Unfortunately, though, that one nice goal is not going to make up for the three that Montreal scored just off of sheer volume. Yeah, sheer volume of shots is key. And just keeping it in that zone, just keep peppering yeah. that net. Like we always say, it's pressure, pressure, pressure. That's how you build a good offense in Rocket League. Yep. You know, if if you can't find the openings in the defense, just keep shooting until there are openings. Yeah, exactly. You have to create openings when the mm -hmm. team's not going to give you anything. And St. Clair has been very, very good defensively the last little while. They can only make so many saves. The car can only go so many directions yeah. at the same time. Eventually, you're going to create that off angle find that man advantage, maybe find a demo in the back corner there. Montreal did a beautiful job of controlling the pace of that game. It was a high-paced game at the beginning, but Montreal looked like they kind of got their footing nice and early. And now, the feeling out game is over. Montreal, one nothing lead, three games away from taking this national title. Yeah, they've got this lead now, and Jerry looking to start a lead in the game as they're setting it right up against this net. And I think this is the first time we've had an arena change in Rocket True. League before. This is fresh scenery for me, at least. Quint going to try to set that one up towards the middle. Banan clears it out. Oh, and Spoods actually misses that touch quickly. And here's the pressure from University of Montreal to get started. Quint tries to clear it out. Back to Banan. And here it is. They just keep this pressure going on and on and on. And there's the touch. There's the shot. Banan finds 1-0 now. Four minutes and 25 seconds to spare. So much left in this game, but Montreal has started this off with a 1-0 lead. Yeah, Benen telling Spoots to hold my beer. Gonna walk that one right down the middle of the area. Solo touch, no teammates needed on that one. Now St. Clair down to that early 1-0 deficit. They're gonna have to try to find some way to battle back. Maybe it's through those demos. Sim the Goon getting taken off the pitch. But you do not want to succumb to this pressure too early for Montreal, especially considering they found that first goal and they found it so soon. You want to really make sure you dig in here before you find yourselves in a hole that it's very hard to dig out of. Yeah, that's the main key, right? You can't let these goals start running away from you, especially if you're so close to another one like Montreal is right now. These shots just cannot stop. You see the one, two, three man play in the end there, and it is good. Quint takes it high, passes it out to Spoots. Spoots tries to knock it off that backboard, but Banan has it. 
Christian to knock it off his nose and keep this in play for the Saints just a little longer. But it looks like possession may have been flipped. Set up from Montreal. Wow. Great save from Quint there. But Montreal looking like these shots are not going to stop. Yeah, that one's going to go back to that blue side. Banana going to kick that one away for the time being. The Saints at least getting that crack at the net. Spoods going to fire off that bump as well. Banan still working on this left wall. It's going to be Spoods. Banan going to wait here, see what kind of play Spoods wants to make. He was setting it up for Christian to try to get that pinch. Get some pressure back the other way. Make Montreal question their defensive decisions. Make sure they want to play aggressive. They're going to get punished for it. But right now, they're playing pretty much punishment-free aggression. They are getting this ball back and forth into this orange zone. We are almost halfway through game two, and the Saints have yet to find the scoreboard. Yeah, and they're rotating out that third player almost constantly and always at the right time, right? It's always after somebody finds that second touch, somebody sets up the pass, they rotate out, new player rotates in for the offense. So there's always someone, you know, in and around or past that halfway yeah. mark that is always going to be there for the saves when Saints try to clear it out, when Spoods tries to make one of these aerial plays to get a setup started off that backboard. Banana is always there. Jerry is always there for the saves. Seems like Sim the Goon is one of their players who's going to be key on that offense. Yeah. Though he's always in that net, always setting something That's up. That's fortunate. But Spoods is always setting something up for Quint there as well. Yeah, that was a. I think that was deflected off. Maybe a member of Montreal. Maybe a second Saint got a piece of it there. All Quint. Sim the Goon just not able to quite make the save. Got his nose on that ball, but the backspin was just too much. Exactly what the Saints needed. You have a lot of time to play with. You got back in this game. You're pretty much playing a 0-0 ball game with two minutes left to play. They're looking to even things up. But Montreal's pressure, if we know anything from this first couple minutes, they are not going to relent. Definitely not. Quint flies right over that defender. Jerry just going to stop right in his face there and shut down that shot. Sim the Goon tries to take it up that right side, but it's not going to be good. Knocked off of his nose. Now, he's the only one really in this area, but Spoods gets it started off the clear out from Christian, I believe that was. Yeah, Christian setting that one on target, though. Looks like it's going to be denied just a little bit over that crossbar there. But this is the important thing, is keeping the ball in this Montreal zone. Getting chance after chance, setting up demos. Quint, beautiful job to get that ball through the middle. Just no one there to unfortunately receive that pass. Now, Banan, we took the disguise before, trying to hit that reset. The ball still traveling toward that Saints net. Spood's going to be the man on that right wall, trying to figure out somewhere to put this ball. Some teammate to set up. That's going to be a steal and a shot there from Montreal. Banan still digging out in these Saints corners, trying to get these passes across. That is a great passing play, trying to set up Sim in the corner, go off the ceiling, trying to find that second, third touch. Pinch not going to be good. The Saints, though, are eating a lot of shots with a minute to play. Yeah, so many shots being thrown back and forth here. Quint, setup comes down from the skies. We've seen that same setup from the Saints before. Double demo to come through. This could be the time to shine, but both players now back up. Quint finds that second touch. Great save by Banan in net there. And now it's the Saints to keep trying to follow up on this ball. Christian tries to keep the aggression alive, but Quint and Spoods have to rotate back for this defense. Christian is able to take one down. Banan has more a boost and is able to find that ball first. But Quint now in the skies with the ball. Three defenders from Montreal locked down here and going to get this shot started. Yeah, the Saints have to try to alleviate some of this pressure. 15 seconds to play. They're going to find that demo onto Banan, trying to open up this pitch for these last couple drives potentially. Montreal, though, not going away. They're going to find the first touch. Back tap, not going to be good. Now Quint going back the other way. The Saints have a few mere seconds to try to make something happen before we go over to overtime. Christian trying to set something up. It's going to be knocked away. The ball will touch down. And in game two with a 1-1 score, we are off to OT. Yeah, starting off OT. I couldn't even tell you who's got the advantage in this one Hi. right now. Beats I mean, me. so far, just back and forth, back and Whoa. forth. A quick one from Christian. Looks so close to landing, but Jerry deep in the net there for some great goaltending. Comes through. Eve, it's Banan to carry that one all the way from the other side. Tries to get one started. Christian puts him right in between them and sends that ball high. Shots being shut down from Montreal. It's the Saints have to just hold steady in their defense right now. Yeah, defense has been very solid. It's been the offense. They've been having a little bit of trick with. Christian is going to find a great touch. Trying to get it done himself. Not going to find that goal. A beautiful solo effort. Just not finding the touch that he needed to score that last goal to end this one off. 
in that golden goal situation. Banan, he has done magic working through the air so far in this series. His mechanics have been on point. He's been showing them off. Christian trying to be the second man to find that ball. Quint, nice little back tap to the middle. Can Christian find the last touch? Not going to be able to quite put the nail on that one. Spoods and the rest of the Saints, though, still threatening. Yeah, the threat is real right now. So far, I feel like the Saints have had a little bit more agency in this overtime, right? As I say that, Sim the Goon gets a nice angle towards that Saints net. Spoot is there for the save. It's a tough one right now. It's actually Banan to clear it back out to his own side. Gonna get something started. They love this play, the aerial play down the middle. Try to send it to the backboard. It goes a little bit to the left there. Back out the middle to Sim the Goon. Jerry could get a pass set up, but Quint is not having it. He's not gonna let anything get set up on his watch. Yeah, Quint trying to lock things down. The rest of these Saints trying to lock it down as well. We are two minutes into overtime. Both of these teams have had chance after chance, just not able to convert anything solidify yet. Oh, shot to the top corner, not gonna find that mark. Quint coming so, so close to ending this game. Now Christian gonna take to the skies, try to find the second touch off the backboard. It's gonna go a little bit haywire. It looks like Jerry got his fingers in there and got that ball out of the crease. Montreal passing that one over the middle, a dangerous play nonetheless, but they are gonna walk away with that possession. The Saints trying to challenge at this midfield line. Both of these teams not giving an inch in this dogfight. I wonder what kind of goal we're gonna see to end things off, because we have seen everything to Sunday so far, as far as mechanics, passing plays, mm -hmm. it has delivered on all fronts. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've seen every shot there can be come out in this overtime, and just some stellar saves from both teams have brought us now to two minutes and 40 seconds here in the overtime. One of these teams is gonna give eventually, but neither of them are ready just yet. A long one from half, gonna be saved by a Christian. Oh, that what a could play. be it, this could be it. Banan tries to carry it in by himself. Spoods, the bump is good. And now, once again, possession has changed. Oh. We're at Montreal's net, but the goal is not gonna be good. The shot just goes a little bit too wide. Spoods tries to take it from the skies now, but there's three defenders right on top of him. Yeah, Saints have to be careful, missing a rotation here. They're getting very, very aggressive, and Banan has done work in the skies. The Saints getting a nice early challenge. Spoods trying to send that one in from way downtown. It's going to be Jerry on that denial there. Spoods still giving chase to this ball in the corner. Going to try to regain this possession. Ball going to kick over to that middle part of the field, but no one from Montreal going to be there to receive that pass. The Saints going to have to clear this ball out. As much pressure as they have put on Montreal, Montreal has given it back with equal and or greater force. That's going to be a shot on target. Miss red, maybe a bump in the net something or other quint is going to find the goal they were looking for three minutes and 43 seconds into overtime i thought that game would never end these teams are absolutely neck and neck right now neither team wants to oh. give an inch and now here we are 1-1 one, one on the scoreline Jobin, and what a game that was 1-1 one, one on the series score yeah. on that game scoreline all the way until almost four minutes into overtime they almost played a whole another rocket league game yeah. without anyone finding a goal i know and that's that game's almost gonna feel like it's worth two or three games mm -hmm. based on how long and the level of play that we saw but that game is worth the same as the first one both these teams are still gonna have at least three more games to try to show their might and test their medal there. The Saints had to have that game back. It would be okay to go down 2-0, but to lose a game in a four-minute overtime, especially yeah. to go into that deficit, that's going to be a hard hole to crawl out of. Luckily, they're not going to put themselves in that tricky spot. They're going to be able to even things up. We know Quinn said he wanted to take a national title while playing in Germany, come over to Canada, and hopefully try to do the same and living up to the bill right there, finding that goal. Yeah, finding that goal after one of the most tense overtimes we've had in a while. And now 1-1. One, one. I think the key now is going to be we've had two games to feel it out, right? Yeah. We talk about the feeler games and in a best of seven, you know, maybe you can take a game two as yeah. a feeler as well. And say, while Saints take that one, I think... They've definitely figured out how to kind of circumvent this offense, the so. pressure that came from the side of Montreal. So now the question is, Montreal, can you adjust your pressure so that the Saints aren't ready for it? And Saints, can you adjust your offense to 
to really crack through Montreal's defense because Saints' big problem in that game was just trying to find those offensive opportunities. Yeah, that's why I love seven game series. The first game or two is usually pre-planning. What do we look about this team going in? What's the scouting report looking like? And the rest of the series, how well can you adjust on the fly? Are you ready to live up to the moment, trying to stake your claim as the country's best? And ultimately, can you get on the pitch and out execute the other team? So far, both of these teams seem to be on very even footing. Montreal trying to threaten once again, getting this ball deep into that orange zone. The Saints, as you said beautifully, they did such a good job of handling that pressure and making a lot of plays on the counterattack and otherwise. Now, gonna come down to this next game. Shot on target, gonna be knocked away by Quinn nice and early. Yeah, and Quinn not able to follow up on that ball, actually, is being chased down by Jerry and Banan there, but Jerry takes it down the center now. Bit of a possession change. Christian is able to bring it in to that other zone. Spoods right off of Banan, gets a close shot, but Sim the Goon right there in net to save it up. Christian sends it back high. We can see Spoods. Oh, what a bump. Quint try and follow up on that one. Spoods is the one to follow up, and the bump in net as well. Take a look at this replay. Oh, absolutely body bagged Banan there. No chance in hell he was getting to that ball. Clearing out the crossbar, Spood's gonna find that goal. Now the Saints taking their first lead of the series, I believe. That overtime we saw, it took them so, so long to finally get the lead in that one. Now they're kicking things off on the right foot. As we talked about, maybe those feel out games are kind of in the past now. They've made those adjustments. They've made the read they wanna make. And now are they able to find this consistently? Because we know Montreal, this pressure has been insane. And I don't think they're planning on stopping anytime soon. I mean, you can already see it straight back off the backboard, back to Sim the Goon. But look, it's this adjustment from Spoods and Quint as well to just get up in their faces and start knocking the ball away because they don't want to give them time to get these aerial setups, to set it up off the backboard. Everything that Montreal has been finding, all kinds of rebounds. You see Banan tries to come in for a bit of a solo play there off the top, but it's Quint and Christian to really clear that one out. Demo on to Quint means Saints are going to be on the back foot for a second or two oh. here. Jerry can't really set one up from the middle. Yeah, and that's the thing about adjustments. Both teams can make them, and I think maybe Montreal is gonna opt for that demo strategy, especially seeing how well that bump paid off for the Saints. Christian gonna float that one toward the net. Second touch, almost gonna find it. Jerry gonna deny that one, and then careening off that crossbar. Second shot going through, saved yet again by Jerry. Two clutch saves on that goal line. We are about halfway through game three. Those saves could not come at a more opportune time. Now Montreal threatening, but Banan not really able to find the handle on that one. Gonna kick that one a little bit wide. Montreal still threatening on all fronts though, trying to find that second touch. The Saints defense has held up so far. Yeah, they're, I mean, they've been holding up well and you already, you come from the first game, you move into the second game where they only end up dropping one goal. And now so far we're over halfway into this game and the Saints have been on par or just on it on that defense. Banan tries to get another shot started, but two defenders, Spoods finds that save. Bump comes through as well, and you really can't set anything up for Montreal. It takes multiple players for that, and they haven't been sending Sim the Goon in for a lot of these offensive plays. He was the one to really get a lot of stuff started there in game one, so it's interesting to see this adjustment. Maybe they just want him on that defense. Yeah, and that's the thing. Maybe now that St. Clair has kind of figured out this puzzle that is this aggression and they're getting a lot more time in that offensive zone, they maybe don't want to invest the resources they invested in game one to sell out and find those goals. They realize, okay, the Saints have been very good on offense these last couple minutes at least. They have found a litany of good chances. We cannot afford to get burned because the way this series has been, I would not be surprised to see a 1-0, a 2-1, a 1-3-2 like a, a game. A lot of these games, I feel like are going to be very, very close where every goal is going to mean that much more. Montreal, a minute 20 to try to find this one back and equalize things. That's going to be a good shot toward the net. Spood's going to knock that one aside though. Buck, 10 to play. Yeah, set up off the backboard once again. It's Quint in the air to actually knock it into a bit of an unfavorable position for Montreal as Jerry has to try to get something started. Banan, now they've got multiple attackers here on the offense. There's three players here ready to try and make this shot happen but not if you're gonna have saves like this from the Saint, just contestion of every angle, contestion anytime an air dribble oh. tries to come down off the crossbar, off of Sim the Goon, off the bar and down, Double not gonna find it. 
They commit, but it's not going to be good enough. 35 seconds to play, and Montreal is scrambling to find a goal here. And they are doing such a good job of getting excellent chances back to back to back. They got two Saints caught up in each other's feet. They had a double commit, a double collision. They just weren't able to capitalize. Those clutch few saves coming through. Not a moment too soon. 15 seconds to play. Christian going to get demoed. The breakout pass to Quint. Not going to find the net. The Saints, you know they're trying to run off this clock right now. Spoods trying to spike this ball down and put a stake on game three here. Christian going to win that one back toward that blue side. One second to play. Quint trying to get this ball to touch down as best as possible. We are still kicking around though. Demo on to Jerry. Montreal, this might be their last chance at taking this game. Spoods going to eventually spike that one down. And two games in a row for St. Clair. They come back and they take that one. Yeah, you could tell once that 45 second mark kind of hit, Saints were just like, all right, don't let them score and try to run off as much time. You saw kind of the lob passes from left to right side of the field (laughs) from Spoods to Quint and then just as long clears as you could possibly find. And Montreal, great offensive chances in that like two to one minute mark. Super, super strong. Yeah. Speaking of twos in Rocket League. Shot counters, (laughs) completely even. Six shots a team here. And it was the Saints to just find that one goal that was the tide turner in this game. And that should just, that should just be another like, on top of it, (laughs) just shows how close these two teams are and how just, even this competition is in this grand finals right now. Yeah. It's, it's amazing to see. The entire day, it's everyone is really stepping up to the occasion. You mm. can tell, even though the playoffs might not have been quite as hype, but once you get here to this championship Sunday, it is literally any given Sunday. Any one of these teams, especially trying to knock off the number one seed coming into things, they want to shake up the collegiate Rocket League scene. They're going to have a little more work to do, though. The Saints did take that one game advantage. The offense has started to click just a little bit more, but Montreal has had plenty of chances. I predict they'll have plenty more, but then kicking things off yet again with a great solo shot. Yeah, tries to get it started once again. It's going to just go a little bit wide and be saved. Quick one from Quint. The shot from half not going to be good as Banan is there. This guy's everywhere on the field right now. About to get another offensive chance started. Not if Quint has anything to say about it. Tries to knock it out of that orange zone. Back over to Christian. Demo is good on the net and there it is. The double touch from Christian to find the first goal. Exactly what they were looking for. Christian going to open up the scoring here. Nice little pass to himself. That ball came off that wall at a pretty weird angle. Not sure Montreal was quite ready for that. Reed Christian, though, had that book wide open. Turned to the right page, and he's going to find that first goal for St. Clair. Scoring even faster than they did in that game three. But if we know Rocky League and we know Josh Kirsten games, we know there's a lot more to be played and a lot more goals to be had. All right. I I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel I'm throwing about jabs every time I Josh can. curses every game trend because uh, I vividly remember the last time we casted Rocky League. True. Okay. I did <laughs> not curse it. True, but. true. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a conversation for another yeah. day as these teams try to get started once again oh. here off the backboard and down. Nobody for the follow-up though. Quint tries to battle it out, tries to keep it going. Spoots to set it up from the corner here. We've seen this from the Saints so many times and we've seen the shots that can come off of it, but it's Jerry and Banan to make this two-man play. Yeah, just couldn't really quite connect on that passing play. It's going to be Spoods now trying to get the breakout here. Quint going to have to read that one over top of the net. He's got some boost to play with, though. Able to find that second touch. Not going to be able to follow that one up. Now, Banan, he has done so much work in these skies. He's going to get pickpocketed in midair, though. The Saints are going to alleviate that pressure, at least for a moment. Now, Sim the Goon trying his best to keep this ball in that orange zone. They're trying to find that goal. They desperately seek to get back in this game and get back in this series. It is all on Montreal now. They're going to try their best. They're going to play this one out of the corner. Lots of boost for Jerry. But the Saints, as you said, they're doing such a good job of face-checking all of these challenges, not letting anything get back to the net. Christian almost finding that second touch. Shot's going to go through. Bump found in the crease as well. Not going to bury that one just yet. This is still a one-goal game. Yeah, these shots are so, so close to nailing from the Saints. You see Demo on the goal line could be good, but Sim the Goon back in the play. Going to have to stall it out for even longer as the Saints have completely flipped this on Montreal. In this game, they're the one taking an excessive amount of shots over and over again. It seems like for every one shot Montreal is able to find in this one, it's the Saints to, you know, pepper in one, two, three on the goal there. But what we know about Rocket League is that one team could still outshoot somebody like 15 to four and lose two or three to two. 
All that matters is did you Very execute true. on the opportunities that were given to you? Did you create those opportunities? That's a great pass by Spoods. Christian just not able to find the, the hole on that one. Spoods gonna send that one back to that crease area. Gonna find that demo on Jerry. Spoods has been head hunting Montreal all series today. He is finding demos left, right, and center trying to open up this pitch. He's gonna be playing on that backside of the net as well, trying to get things going. That ball's gonna trail Jerry just a little bit. He's gonna win out that contest. The Saints though, still trying to put this pressure. Wow, a bouncer looks almost good there from the side, but Sim the Goon in net for a save there. And then trying to get something started once again. That's been the story of this offense for Montreal the past few games here. Banan goes in, gets something started. Sim the Goon tries to follow up, but past two games haven't been able to really find that, that critical shot, yeah. that critical angle that's able to just cut straight into the net there. Quint can't really find that angle either as it goes straight out to the side and changes possession. Yeah, Montreal's defense has been outstanding this entire series as well. The Saints have had legitimately seven or eight golden chances to score. Jerry has closed that door several times over. Saints are gonna fire that one back on net. Christian trying to put that missile in the net, but on there for the save. Now Quint gonna go play this one up that right side wing. Gonna try to find the second touch as well. He's gonna find it. Pass gonna go over to the middle. No Saints quite ready to receive that one. It's gonna be Spoods. Fire that one back into the corner. We are under a minute to play in this game four. Montreal trying to even up this series at twos. The Saints trying to really start to stick the knife in Montreal's heart and slowly twist that thing the rest of the series. But we still have a little bit of Rocket League to be played. That is a dangerous, dangerous ball. Both these teams now just a little bit of time left to work. Oh, is that the angle? Christian finds the second and all but seals the deal for this game. 36 seconds left. Montreal now staring down a lead of two. Yeah, that's exactly what St. Clair was looking for, trying to ice this game. 36 seconds still to play for Montreal. They have an amplitude of chances to make something happen. Time, however, gonna be a little bit not, you know, not gonna be in their favor too, too hard there. Banan trying to make something happen up this right side wall. That shot's gonna go back to that blue side. Name of the game now, if you're the Saints, kill this clock as soon as possible. 20 seconds left, Spoods gonna find a great pinch up that left wall, and he finds that second touch. That's gonna be seven, eight seconds off the clock now. That's gonna be the Saints getting in another rotation, looking for that third goal as well. Second touch off that backboard, trying to get that dunk is Quint, just not gonna find that mark. We are five seconds away. The Saints are going to take a three to one lead, and they're gonna be on match point for a Canadian championship. Just waiting for the ball to touch ground here and there. It is 3-1 in the series now. Saints completely flipped game one on its head, taken three straight, and now match point for the national championship. Yep. It's Saints varsity after a, what, a 2-1 game, a 1-0 game, and yeah. now a 2-0 game. You see, we're looking wow. at the shot counter this time. That's jarring. One shot from UDEM. What is that? 11 shots from the Saints. Carry the one. Carry you cannot one. score two goals with one shot. I had to run the numbers and check that one, unless it's an own goal, which we have seen a couple of this week, actually, from several different games from multiple teams. But you can't really rely on that to win yourself a Canadian championship. The offense has been completely neutralized for St. Clair, like shutting down Montreal. Mm. That first game, I think they had eight, nine shots at net. They had tons of cracks at the net. Yeah. They converted three of them. Now they can barely even get the ball out of their zone. The Saints have seemed to have really found their footing. And like you said earlier, they're growing and they're adapting as the series goes on and they are looking tougher and tougher now with one potential game left. Yeah, improvise, adapt, overcome. The Saints taking that to heart right now as we move in to game five here. The Saints have taken, you know, everything they saw from Montreal in game one, everything they saw in game two, and they just keep peppering on these shots. They flip the aggression on its head. And now the Saints to try and take this one. Montreal in not a reverse sweep situation here, but gonna have to win three straight to try and take this one. It's still a tall task ahead of them. Yeah, tall task, but you gotta start with one game. And maybe they're gonna play the physical game, but the Saints are gonna go with the finesse. Spood's gonna find that goal. The aggression from Montreal being punished there. They sent the man out to get that demo toward mid. Misplay on that ball. Spoods will take that one all day long. And they keep scoring this first goal faster and faster and faster. And this momentum, you can feel it. It is starting to build. I'm sure these players are aware. They are four minutes away from notching another feather in their cap there. Montreal, though, they got some time to play with still. Absolute deadlock off the kickoff. Going to go back and forth here. No 
true shots to be taken, but Jerry gonna get one started. Spoo's just bumping it straight up and has to bump it out over Tim the Goon there. Christian, I have to try and make this clear good, but it's a little too far away to really follow oh. up on. Good bump actually could leave Spoods with some time to make this play. Quint now on the ball has to try and knock it out of Banan's hands, but hopefully Spoods is quick enough on that rotation. He is going to knock it out of there. And now the defenders back in position as they clear this one out. Yeah, Christian waiting to see what kind of play gets made here over that middle. Jerry trying to take that one all himself through that middle area. Going to get shut down, though. Now it's going to be Spoods on that defense, trying to clear this one back to that blue side. That's a great pass. Going to be intercepted, though, on the goal line. Jerry trying to play this one off that back wall. Now going to find that second touch. Demo going over to Sim the Goon. Now Quint, can he make this one work? Can he beat the defenders? He's not going to win the first wave. Second wave not going to go. The bump on Jerry is massive by Quint. Still keeping this ball in the crease, keeping the pressure of St. Clair alive and well. Spoods trying to chip that one into the corner. Kicked away by Jerry. The Saints, though, they're starting to make their living in this blue zone, and they are not going away. Yeah, we've seen it now about 30 seconds straight in this zone. Banan is the first one to cross that half there as he's going to take it out, try to take a little bit of a float into the net there. It's going to be shut down by Spoods. Open. Spoods has such a great angle on that ball, finds the second of the game. Five shots from Spoods in this game wow. so far, and we're only two minutes Jeez. in. And we usually talk about Spoods being like the glue guy. Earlier, he actually was the demolition man. Yeah. He was finding six, seven demos a game. We saw him score the incredible solo goal in the first game with that double touch off the crossbar. This guy just gets it done on every single part of the pitch, game after game for these Saints. Jerry trying to get that early demo going, clearing out some space for Montreal. They're going to have to start operating and finding these chances like they were in that first game. They've just been few and far between these last couple games as we've gotten further along. And the Saints have started to exploit these openings and they've done a damn good job about it. We still got two minutes, 40 seconds though. All it takes is one to get back in this one. Yeah, really, I mean, one goal, then you're only down one, and that's a much easier task ahead of you. Pass from Quint in the corner, it's not gonna be good. It's actually gonna come back out towards Saints zone here. Spoods, the one who can't clear it out there is now Montreal. If they can get their hands on the ball here, I think they can start that pressure going again. I think the problem is really just them grabbing rebounds. They're yes. not they're not being uncontested on the rebounds and Saints being able to just pinch it in between them, take the 50-50, yeah. hope it sends it towards that blue side has been just a critical part of their gameplay and the reason they have found their way to match point here. And we saw Montreal, they love to use full boost, send someone into the skies over the middle of the pitch and set something up that way. When the Saints are living in their end, they're stealing all that boost away, not letting Montreal really get any breakout passes like you just laid out. They're kind of shutting down what Montreal was doing so, so well. And now the adjustment, if they can make it, what are they going to do better? Oh, what an angle from Christian from the hands of Montreal to the back of the net. Christian going to rip that one away from, I believe it was Jerry there. What a play to read that one. Send that one back into that right side of the net. Now we've got a minute 37 left. The Saints sitting at a 3-0 lead comfortably. Yeah, Jerry thought he was just clearing it out to the so corner. Did Little did he know he was actually passing it to Christian for one of the cleanest goals of the series thus far there. What an angle straight to the other post. And now Saints take this 3-0 lead with about a minute 20 left on this clock. Oh. Make it 4-0 because Christian just found another two for two in the game right now. Yeah, good old fashioned demo in the net. Clear out that sucker and find the net. Quint gonna find that demo. Spoots helping out as well. All three members have their fingerprints on that goal. And what a way to come together. Now a four goal lead in a minute 20. I'm not sure we've seen something like this come back in recent memory. Obviously, the chance is always there. Montreal, they are here for a reason. The Saints, though, are not going away. They are trying to put the topper on this one. Hat trick for Spoods. Seven shots on the game. He's got three goals, two saves, four assists. Going for that triple-double. Five for the Saints now, and they are starting to run away with this one. This game might just be too far gone for Montreal, unfortunately, at this point. I mean, we saw them score, what, three goals in about a minute 30 in that first game. So like forever ago. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I know it does. Definitely can be done, but five in a minute. That's about, what, one every 12 seconds here. They are really going to have to hustle to try and even it out, and that's just to take us to overtime. Yeah. Saints staring down that grand finals title, staring down that Canadian Nationals championship title here. 
with 45 seconds left on the play. Christian taking this dribble all the way to the corner. Look at all the time being chunked off the clock. Yeah, the Rocket League team trying to join the ranks of the Call of Duty team and the Overwatch team from earlier. Pinch across that net, not gonna go. The Saints just trying to drain that clock at this point. They are 25 seconds out from wrapping this one up in 4-0 fashion. A little bit of help from the Saints there. Sim the Goon though, gonna find the back of the net. 26 seconds to play. Do you believe in miracles? You're hoping so if Montreal has anything to say about this one. Quint though, giving one to Montreal over there, but four goals in 25, 25 seconds, man. Gonna be tough. Yeah, I think tough that was an understatement. I think that was Quint just flying in to try and make some I kind of save yeah. and then just happened to come off at that angle. I mean, you said yourself, we they see the own goal. I know. We see the own goals it. all the time here, but it does happen in Rocket League, but Usually what doesn't happen is four goals in 10 seconds. It's all oh. but secured here for yeah. the Saints. They are just going to have to stall this one out through the air. Jerry and Banana actually trying to set up a second goal for themselves, but it's just going to have to wait till that ball touches the ground. And the Saints are your Canadian eSports Nationals Rocket League champion. That is three championships for the Saints so far today. Yeah, make it a three-peat for St. Clair. The Rocket League team, they had Montreal X'd on the whiteboard at the beginning of this tournament. They realized this was a team we are probably going to see in the finals. They know they had massive respect from Quint, Spoods, and Christian. They all said mm -hmm. this is a team to watch out for. They got tested in that first game. They got tested in that second game, a four-minute overtime that could have gone either way and changed uh -huh. the entire dynamics of this series. But much like Call of Duty and Overwatch, they pull through, they show that toughness and that grit, and they walk away champions of Canada. Yeah, I mean, you can't ask for more out of a series. You can see the progression through that yeah. best of seven, right? You see the first game, they're down and out, right? Montreal is just Pepper, offense, yeah. offense all over them. Second game, they take it to probably the deepest overtime we've seen in, in a, while. a while. Definitely in a while. And then you see the progression from game two to game three, where they're like, all right, we found out what they like to do on defense. We found out how to shut down their offense. Let's start Let's taking shots goals, for ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can see when they kind of hit the switch, they realized, okay, now we have the read that we're looking for. Now we can really start to exploit this defense and exploit it. They did that game five, especially that showed you everything we had to show. I think three goals in the last minute and that game, even that was close until it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Montreal had played that super competitively. The defense was outstanding. They only had one shot in one of those games, still only lost by a goal. This team fought. They had heart ultimately though, just falling short to what was the number one seed coming in. Yeah, so that is going to be the grand finals wrapped up for Rocket League here. And are we sending it to a quick break is the question. Is Valorant yep. confirmed? We are going to send it to just a quick break here for ourselves. Is the semifinals it. still in Happening progress right there <laughs> for right through the Valorant? Story, but if that does come to fruition, that will be at 9 p.m. Yep. start there for Valorant. But we are going to cut it to a quick little break. Hope you enjoyed Rocket League so far. I know I did. We'll be back with some Valor in action. The seventh yes. here in Rocket League, moving on from that best of five format. Spoods trying to take it close to that net right off the bat. It's gonna ride on the goal line, knocked out by U Montreal here. Bouncer in front of the net. Spoods to grab the ball off the wall there. Could bring it down right in front. Possibly for Quint there, but not gonna follow up on that ball. Yeah, it is going to be Spoods, Quint, and Christian, the starting three that we have seen that last in a while. Oh, what a pinch coming through that they don't want to have as evident by Sim the Goon finding a nice shot there right on the goal line. Jerry can't tap it in before it finds its way to the corner. Set up right again past the middle. Christian in the oh perfect position. Another crossbar off of Banan that time. Jerry tries to keep this going. It's still in the Saints zone here. And you, Montreal, still has control on that ball. Two players in front of the net and Sim the Goon. Over the defender, it gets over Sim, but not past Jerry. He was gonna try to dribble it out to the front of the net here. Banan finding one, falling from the top. You see Sim trying to get ready for that shot follow-up. Not gonna be good. It's gonna lay on to Jerry. He has to take it to the corner. Might be able to find something off of himself. The angle, not good enough. They find that one straight to the crossbar there. 145 oh. on the clock, straight from the skies. To side right now, they are just trapped in that orange zone. Once again, Montreal making a great play on the ball. They're gonna have a crack at the net here as well. Only one to beat. Quick, gonna knock that one away. Saints might have a shot at the net here. That net looks wide open, but they cannot make it to the ball in time. Christian gonna get the demo for his trouble. They're 
going to send another demo towards Sim the Goon there, but this ball still in the Saints end. One man getting all the work done. Banan, they're trying to play this one off that midline. The Saints, they have to get this ball out, and they have to try to find this goal sooner than later. They are slowly running out of time. We only have 55 seconds left in game one. Yeah, Jerry tries to find a quick one onto that net. They're off the oh, back beautiful. board. The double touch oh. is they're setting it right up against this net. And I think this is the first time we've had an arena change in Rocket True. League before. This is fresh scenery for me, at least. Quint going to try to set that one up towards the middle. Banan clears it out. Oh, and Spoods actually misses that touch quickly. And here's the pressure from University of Montreal to get started. Quint tries to clear it out. Back to Banan. And here it is. They just keep this pressure going on and on and on. And there's that second touch. Somebody sets up the pass. They rotate out, new player rotates in for the offense. So there's always someone, you know, in and around or past that halfway yeah. mark that is always going to be there for the saves. When Saints try to clear it out, when Spoods tries to make one of these aerial plays to get a setup started off that backboard, Banan is always there. Jerry is always there for the saves. Seems like Sim the Goon is one of their players who's going to be key on that offense. Yeah. So he's always in that net, always setting something That's up. Fortunate. But Spoods of them. Yeah, Saints have to be careful, missing a rotation here. They're getting very, very aggressive, and Banan has done work in the skies. The Saints getting a nice early challenge. Spoods trying to send that one in from way downtown. It's going to be Jerry on that denial there. Spoods still giving chase to this ball in the corner. Going to try to regain this possession ball. Going to kick over to that middle part of the field, but no one from Montreal going to be there to receive that pass. The Saints going to have to clear this ball out. As much pressure as they have put on Montreal, Montreal has given it back with equal and or greater force. That's going to be a shot on target. Miss Red, maybe a shot on target. It can be knocked away by Quint nice and early. Yeah, and Quint not able to follow up on that ball actually is he's being chased down by Jerry and Banan there, but Jerry takes it down the center now. Bit of a possession change. Christian is able to bring it into that other zone. Spoods right off of Banan gets a close shot, but Sim the Goon right there in net to save it up. Christian sends it back high. We can see Spoods. Oh, what a bump. Quint try and follow up on that one. Had plenty of chances. I predict they'll have plenty more, but then kicking things off yet again with a great solo shot. Yeah, tries to get it started once again. It's gonna just go a little bit wide and be saved. Quick one from Quint. The shot from half, not gonna be good as Banan is there. This guy's everywhere on the field right now. About to get another offensive chance started. Not if Quint has anything to say about it. Tries to knock it out of that orange zone. Back over to Christian. Demo is good on the net, and there it is. Play this one up that right side wing. Gonna try to find the second touch as well. He's gonna find it. Pass gonna go over to the middle. No Saints quite ready to receive that one. It's gonna be Spoods. Fire that one back into the corner. We are under a minute to play in this game four. Montreal trying to even up this series at twos. The Saints trying to really start to stick the knife in Montreal's heart and slowly twist that thing the rest of the series. But we still have a little bit of Rocket League to be played. That is a dangerous, dangerous ball. Both these teams now just a little bit of time left to work. Oh, is that the angle Christian? They saw from Montreal in game one, everything they saw in game two, and they just keep peppering on these shots. They flip the aggression on its head. And now the Saints try and take this one. Montreal in not a reverse sweep situation here, but gonna have to win three straight to try and take this one. It's still a tall task ahead of them. Yeah, tall task, but you gotta start with one game. And maybe they're gonna play the physical game, but the Saints are gonna go. Pass it by Quint, still keeping this ball in the crease, keeping the pressure of St. Clair alive and well. Spoots trying to chip that one into the corner. Kicked away by Jerry. The Saints, though, they're starting to make their living in this blue zone, and they are not going away. Yeah, we've seen it now, about 30 seconds straight in this zone. Banan is the first one to cross that half there, as he's gonna take it out. Try to take a little bit of a float into the net there. It's going to be shut down by Spoods. Open oh, Spoods has such a 50-50 yeah. hope. It sends it towards that blue side. Has been just a critical part of their gameplay and the reason they have found their way to match point here. And we saw Montreal, they love to use full boost, send someone into the skies over the middle of the pitch and set something up that way. When the Saints are living in their end, they're stealing all that boost away, not letting Montreal really get any breakout passes like you just laid out. They're kind of shutting down what Montreal was doing so, so well. And now the adjustment, if they can make it, what are they going to do better? Oh, what an angle from Chris Bar there. What an angle straight to the other post. 
And now Saints take this 3-0 lead with about a minute 20 left on this clock. Oh. Make it 4-0 because Christian just lead in a minute 20. I'm not sure we've seen something like this come back in recent memory. Obviously, the chance is always there. Montreal, they are here for a reason. The Saints, though, are not going away. They are trying to put the topper on this one. Hat trick for Spoods. Oh. Yeah, the Rocket League team trying to join the ranks of the Call of Duty team and the Overwatch team from earlier. Pinch across that net. Not going to go. The Saints just trying to drain that clock at this point. They are 25 seconds out from wrapping this one up in 4-0 fashion. A little bit of help from the Saints there. Sim the Goon, though. Get up to 7th yes. here in Rocket League.